Okay. The little update. Mommy's been home for her first night from the hospital. How do you feel? Okay. How do you How do you feel? I feel. Oh my God. Put big boobs. Then put. Uh, how do you say that in English? Oof. I don't know. When the milk starts coming to the boobs. Oh my God! It hurts. <laughs> Your boobs are the same size as her head. Yeah. Like. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Logan. Are you going to daycare today? Yeah, you get one day a week. Yeah, you cough in the right place. So he's got one day off. We're going to bring him. It's 930. We're going to go to Walmart. We're going to pick up some food and some uh, other little things. I want to get some Listerine uh, antibacterial wipes so I can wipe down the kitchen when we're sterilizing. We have some. Baby Alex is... Uh, but I want to get more. Okay. And some food. And i got to look at it for a battery for the Civic. At Walmart, see how expensive they are. Can you put that in the garbage, Logan? Garbage. Garbage. Yeah. Uh, Thanks, buddy. All right, peeps. Little update. So we're gonna run around a little bit this morning, and then we're gonna go see Alex for lunch. And uh, I got some clothes to fold when we come back. I'm gonna shower, get clean, to go and see her because I don't want to bring any like bacteria or or. Uh, you know, anything, dog hair on the clothes or whatnot. I just want to keep it as sterile as possible because she was really sick. So, there's Bob. Sit, Bob. Good boy. He's a good boy. All right, peeps, I'm out. So, it's baby Alex. Day, what was it? She's like. We're the six. She was born on the two. So, she has almost. Four days. Almost four days. 72 hours. No, four days. Uh, Look at the tonight. little face. <laughs> so she's doing a lot better. She's down to one light. and they could she, take, had, she had four. They could have, they could have uh, taken this one off, but they're um, just keeping a safe zone to make sure. But uh, they're giving her more milk. She's doing good. All her vital signs are stable. So She's now at a uh, set to And mommy's going to be able to hold her later. So we're going to go do some uh, commission, we're going to run around, do some errands, and mommy's going to only think about taking the baby later. <laughs> Look at that little face. <laughs> Alright peeps, we're so happy she's doing good, so I don't know how long she'll be in here, but things are looking really good. Maybe see how she drinks on the boob and, and stuff like that, and if everything's good and stable and she's getting well fed, yeah, we they, might, try they might send her home. Yeah, maybe. Instead of keeping her at like, you know, $8,000 a day. All right, peeps, I'm out. What'd you do? What did you do? That's not good, I. That's not being a good man. He did a little tinkle before. We took him out. Too excited. And we were gone for like four hours, so I can't really blame him, but he knows. He knows that's not good to take a piss on the floor, Bob. Silly dog. All right, peeps. A little uh, unbox continuing uh, for the cars. I'm not sure if my battery's dead on the Civic or just... Is totally discharged because it was a car that was sitting there and maybe just needs a good charge. We'll find out. Before I buy a new battery, I figured I'd buy a battery charger. And the guy at Canadian Tire, one of my buddies, kind of considered it because it's like, I'm not sure of anything yet. Has the car just been sitting for a while and the battery, battery has run low and me trying to start the car drained it completely? And... Second thing is, a battery charger is never a lost thing. Like, it's useful. It's going to be useful my whole life, and this is probably the only battery charger I'll need to buy because they last forever. And that, and I got my lights in for the uh, Mazda MPV 2003. I'm going to stop the video and unbox it, and I'll be right back. All right, so this is very cool. You know, a little letter, thank you for your purchase. 100% uh, satisfactory guaranteed or money back, which is... That speaks for itself, and it's like, you know, a concrete letter that came with it. It would be nice if it was a signature of uh, maybe the company holder or something like that. But this is what what I got. These are normally about 60 to $70 uh, 
And, oh my god, that's not good at all. How come that just fucking fell out like that? Wow. Oh, well, that was fucking... That's not very good. I think it came in un unstuck, but... Doesn't look like they're damaged or anything. One thing's for sure, you don't want to touch these with your fingers. I'm going to put some of them little silicone gloves on. Handle these. I'll go out soon. I just got to put all the groceries away before I go and pick up the, the piss. But I'll touch that after I'm done putting the food away, obviously. So 8000K Blue Extreme. I guess it's uh, high intensity, like I was saying. Yeah, it's telling you right there. I'm like looking at it through my eyes and not through the camera. But it's telling you right there um, not to touch the end of the ball, but to, uh, I don't know why it's not fucking focusing. There you go. The end of the ball, but to touch the uh, the metal piece here instead. But, uh, cool. So uh, I'm going to put the groceries away, and I'll bring you guys outside. We'll install these, do it before and after, even though it's daytime. But anyways, cool. Peace out. All right, peeps. So uh, I'm going to change the uh, the lights out kind of hard to tell or see really it's daytime but it's kind of before I'll show you the other one well it's completely burnt out I took it out and it's, it's in the house but, uh, that's what we got going on we got a far you can see so I'm gonna switch them out and do a before and after and then uh, I'm gonna go to the Civic I'm gonna rip out the battery and I found I'm gonna try my new uh, ratchet keys so that'll be really good peace out all right peeps there is a slight difference. It's hard to tell right now, but they, they do look blue and they look very bright. So I'm a satisfied customer. Thank you eBay for selling something that actually uh, is worthwhile once in a while. It's nice. I got a little crack here. I might switch out the whole front bumper because there's a more equipped uh, MVP. They have fog lights that are molded into the bumper here and here would be nice to have. And seeing as it's cracked, I might switch it out in spring with the doors that I want to change and stuff. If everything's still going good on this car. But uh, I'm going to jump onto the Civic, take the battery out. I don't think I need to film that for you guys, but I really want to plug it up to my new charger and see what's going on. So uh, probably catch you guys on the inside with the new charger. Alright, got the LED light on. So I ripped out the battery. Right now I've got it on a conventional 12 amp fast charge. And uh, it doesn't look like it's charging very much, but I'll give it some time and see. And it just jumped for some reason, which is weird. So uh, we'll let it sit. And uh, if I get a full charge, we'll, uh, we'll bring it out and see what happens. So I might have a bad battery here, I don't know. So this is the first step I'm going to take. And uh, it will also be good if uh, other batteries get used down, like the van, someone w did a battery test and was telling me it wasn't, it wasn't a bad battery, but it was, a, it was a weaker battery, so it was like minus 30 temperatures and might have trouble. This is always good if the battery does die trying to start it, I can bring it in for a few hours. Oh, just jumped again. Kind of funny, I don't know what's going on. It's good to have a charger though. I'm going to open the window up a little bit here. It's not that cold out. Get some air. If fire catches, I could just fucking whip the thing outside. No, I'm kidding. But, uh, alright, peeps. Catch you later. Poor friend's going nuts. <laughs> Gas is going down. <laughs> <laughs> hey peeps what's up little update i was working on the civic i have the uh, the battery in here like i was showing you <laughs> still no charge but uh my sister told me sometimes this can take up to like 10 10 hours or overnight if it was really really drained bad which it was so this was my old cluster it used to have um as you can see the chrome the chrome uh, circles like over the uh, the gauges and I, I just took it off the uh, the chrome that's here was just a little bit too much I did I was able to take it off but it was just it looked like you know I was overdoing it a little bit but uh, it's really cool to uh, to uh, to have a new cluster with an RPM gauge 
and that the speedometer needle I broke by accident but this this is not original miles this is another cluster that was put in there I don't know why 275,000 kilometers or miles I should say no kilometers yeah this one's a yeah, they're both they're both Canadian clusters and uh, <clears throat> this one as you can see there's miss there was missing bulbs everywhere not on this one I took them off but on the one that I did buy I was missing balls, so I just I fit them all in. So that's really cool. I'm, I'm gonna go put it back in the car, uh, maybe in half an hour before we go to the hospital, waiting for my mom to arrive to babysit, or tomorrow morning. So a little update: working on the cluster. It looks I find it looks a lot cooler with the uh, with the uh, the chrome around it there, the cr around the gauges. I'm gonna take the the lead light off. It doesn't really help. Well, a little bit. You don't get so much of a glare. But, you know, it just gives it a little accent. It looks nice. So, cool. I'll keep you guys posted. We're going to go see the baby. We'll finally be able to hold it tonight, which is wicked. So, uh, catch you guys later. Ciao. Hard to see, but the lights are working really well. Try the high beams, babe. So, there we go. It's working. Continuous with the vlog. Repairing the car is always uh, maintenance and not... Uh, and not being stupid and just fucking putting things off. Vehicles you need to maintain. So, cool peeps. I'm out of here. I'm going to see the baby. And then mommy can finally hold her for the first time. So, I'll probably make a video. Well, I'm going to make a video. So, catch you all later.